I think that both teams played extremely well for as cold as it was down there. And windy, um, you know, both teams fielded the ball pretty well, handled it. Um, Got to give the pitchers credit on both sides for throwing a lot of strikes. Uh, difficult to control the ball when you, you, you're you not feeling it real good. So um, I feel really good about the way our offense responded to uh, what went on in the in the top of the first. Came back and punched in a couple, and then a couple more, I think, in the second and third, and got the lead, and then never never lost it. Uh, the game settled down a lot uh, because of Will McIntyre. Uh, he just did a tremendous job of coming in out of the pen and just letting us climb back in the game and get the lead. And uh, after that, we didn't hit it, hit as much. We had a few balls hard, but we we didn't get that that big hit. You know. Uh, Jared got a big hit with two outs that scored one, and then we had a rundown situation that gave us that sixth run. And um, a lot of good things, a lot of things we didn't do very well, but uh, it was a, uh, I mean, it was a good game. They have a good team. They're solid. They're very, very solid. And uh, we knew what we were getting into an experienced pitching staff for the most part and an experienced lineup. And uh, three hitter, three hole hitter had a great day. He's a good hitter. Dave, with Hagen, was it first game jitters, the cold weather? What, what did you see from him? I don't know. Um, I don't think it's first game jitters. I'm sure the cold affected him a little bit. You know, the game's funny. It's so fragile. You know, we had a two on. He, he, the, first, the first batter leads off the game. He has a great at bat. Fouls off some pitches. He ended up walking. The next guy's got him on 0 2 and he hits him. Third hitter, their best hitter. Foul tips one. He goes in the glove. It's starting to come out of the glove. He reaches for it with his hand as it's going down to the ground low, and he doesn't get it. The ball hits the dirt, and then the ball blows out of the park. But, you know, it was just a routine fly ball. We were telling the center field to throw the ball to second base on the tag, and next thing you know, it blows out of the park. So, yeah, you know, hits the guy 0-2, you know, foul tip jumps out of the glove, but all of a sudden you're down 3 to nothing, And he just, you know, I don't know. Uh, I know that he'll be a lot better next week. He's really good. I think he's a 42 pitch. Was there any thought at all to send him out for the second or did you just say, hey, let's just go to Will at that time? Well, whenever you throw that many pitches in one inning, especially in these conditions, and uh, I, 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 no, we were taking him out. Big can, you know, obviously just first game, but to fall behind and, and get that, that comeback, how important can this, that kind of moment be, you know, down the road early this season, just right away uh, showing some adversity? Yeah, I mean, anytime you can come back, especially late in the game, it's a sign of a good team, you know, especially when you're down three or four late, come back and win some games, beat, walk people off in the ninth, you know, it's it's confidence thing, but – because you're probably pretty good too. Today, you know, it was all, everything happened early. Uh, I think anytime you do that, then your team knows, hey, you know, it's not a problem. We didn't panic. We weren't. We knew we we hadn't even hit yet. And uh, you know, we were down three to nothing. It could have been worse, but we uh, we responded. It was just good to see that happen. Jared's probably not a starter today if it wasn't for you know Stovall's injury but he comes through big for you what have you seen from him maybe since the Stovall injury and you know how how good was it to kind of see him get off to a hot start yeah you know he's a I'm sure he's a little nervous first time playing here obviously he's he's older he's played a lot of games at the division one level Um, I think since Stovall hurt his foot he knew that he was going to be playing and he basically has worked exclusively at third base because I usually bounce him around and we work him at short, some at second. Um, so, you know, that's probably helped him there. And then just the fact that he could he could sleep on it for a week realizing, hey, I'm going to be in the game. And, uh, you know, he had a really good one for us today. Was that was What was Will throwing? And, I mean, is that maybe mm-hmm. the kind of thing you expected out of him today? Yeah, you know, that's his role. We really like him there, long relief. He, I mean, he could come in the seventh, finish the game. He's going to do everything. Um, but uh, he was throwing a cutter. He was obviously throwing a fastball. And uh, he threw – he also dropped a couple just regular curveballs in there. That's what he went with mostly. Uh, Sprague lots uh, over the shoulder. He made that look very easy. That was that was a tough catch. Maybe keep, what what was your perspective? Yeah, that's there? what we thought in the dugout as well. Man, he made that look easy. It's not an easy play, but I think once he got 
to where he felt like he needed to get, it became easy for him. Um, yeah, that was, uh, was impressive. Not only that he caught it, but he made it look like it wasn't that big a deal. Coach, overall thoughts of Hudson White at, at the leadoff and then defensively at catcher? I mean, I'd say he did a pretty good job at leadoff. He struck out his first at bat. He homered his second at bat. Um, I couldn't tell you after that, but uh, I think he walked maybe. But, you know, he, he's going to hit He's going to hit second, third in the order probably most of the year, maybe fourth. But, uh, you know, him hitting that home run there, I think, he was frustrated with his first at bat because he's one of those guys. He doesn't strike out looking. He might strike out, but he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna work at it. He's gonna foul off pitches and make you work for that. And uh, you know, he you could just tell how frustrated he, that he was. So it was good to see. And it seemed like you guys really got the best of Gage Wood today. Just you know, what do you like from an outing like that for him moving forward? Well, you know, he's got that new pitch, little cutter. And uh, he likes to throw it. It's hard. It moves. And uh, fastball, he was spotting it up pretty good. And it's got some carry on it. You know, I don't know what the board was reading, 93, 94, I don't know. But it looks harder than that. It does from the side. So I was thinking about box, it does as well. He can throw it harder than that. But I really like the way he threw the ball around the, the plate. Even his misses were right there. I mean, the zone was, you know, the umpire established his zone. It was going to be the top of the zone you're getting. At the bottom of the zone, you didn't get it. Or it had to. he had to feel really good about it. I think we only had one pitch down at the bottom of the zone that we felt like that was called a strike. And But he was really consistent. I thought he did a good job because the guys knew what they, they, they had to do. And but Gage is all around that zone when he wasn't throwing a strike. With the way you saw the ball flying out, early in the game. Was there any thought with Will that he can keep the ball low in the zone? You're going to get some ground balls with him? Yeah, I mean, we, whenever the wind's blowing like it is, you, you really you want a guy that's got a little sinker. And, uh, you know, he, he, he kept the ball down, I'd say, a little bit with his fastball. But, you know, he got them looking for that cutter all the time. And then that fastball looked a lot harder than it was. And, you know, they were, they were missing it. And, uh, yeah, anytime the wind's blowing like this, you'd like to have a sinker baller out there, honestly. But that's what their first guy was. I mean, he got some ground balls, but when he made a mistake up, we got him. It's opening day. Fans would have been here regardless, but, you know, 40 degrees, uh, temperature going down as the game wore on. Uh, can you get a sense of just how much excitement there is around the program right now from, from the, the, faith, the Razorback faithful? Yeah, the fans were amazing. I couldn't believe how many people were here, honestly. Uh, 40 was it really 40 I don't know. <laughs> maybe <laughs> it was cold I know there's about 39 degrees I don't know what's the temperature now 35 it's not it's not good and they stayed and that was amazing and I know those fans out in left field I know that wind was hitting them hard because uh you know the, the stadium blocks a lot of it but that that was uh, an amazing a job by our fans showing up supporting our team like that today and I know I appreciate it I know that our players really appreciate it and I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, you know the weather getting better and having some good crowds and hopefully they'll get to relax out there and not shiver the whole game three stolen bases is that something that you're looking forward to doing a little bit more maybe this year or moving forward well how many do we have last year does anybody know because I don't even I couldn't even tell you I can't tell you how many home runs we have last year but if we're going to take what they give us and that's our thing we do have some guys that can run a little bit we have some guys that are sneaky fast um but we will run when we have the the right opportunity and uh, maybe catch them off off guard a little bit and i think that's what we did a little bit today was that what happened on the double steal was that called you know, yeah. saw something yeah the double steal and my runner at first decided that they weren't going to throw to second. He didn't even look, or he didn't even slide. And uh, we've already talked about it. I don't. That was. I wish the ball would have clipped him, and went into center field. That would have been a really smart play. Coach went to uh, Edmondson and left, and then let him hit. Just thoughts on how he looked. More experienced defender, and uh, he's been hitting the ball really well too. I was, Surprised he didn't get the ball in the air a little bit. I mean, that was another thing we talked about. We, we talked for three minutes after the game. We didn't want to stand out there very long, but the three things that were talked about was you don't get picked off on a left-handed pitcher. 
we jab because if they balk and they don't call it, you're still out. I don't think he balked, you know, uh, but he didn't jab. We work on it, but he's you know he's new, been doing it his own way for who knows what, and that's frustrating thing. That could have been an inning. Uh, that's our nine hole slash leadoff man, who can steal a base, but he can score. We got the guys coming up, and uh, we didn't get anything that inning. Um, and then we had a runner who didn't slide at second because I don't know why. Uh, we have that play. We throw to second instead of third. We're not worried about it. With it, that way we can hold our positions better, cover more ground. We'll just throw this guy out, let that guy steal third. But uh, you know, it's, uh, other than that, we we played pretty well. You had 53 stolen bases last year, by the way. Uh, I asked you I asked you a couple of days ago about having an older team, a, a more experienced team. Whether it be handling the elements today or just bouncing back from the top of the first the way they did, did you feel like that made a difference? Oh, I think it does. Yeah, it's uh, there's, yeah, and, you know, if we had four freshmen out there and a couple of JUCO sophomores or something, they'd probably thinking we're in trouble. We hadn't even hit yet, and you know, I, and, and again, I think you know our staff, we didn't, we're not all out of control in there. We're just like, hey, all right, let's score a run right here, try to flip the momentum. And, you know, when we did that, that was that was great. And, again, it was uh, it looked like it was going to be a wild one there for a while. And give credit to our pitchers, and really their bullpen did a great job as well of speeding that game up. 